Today we're taking a look at the Snap Phone Tripod Stand Movos from Moft. That's a bit of a mouthful. But in essence, they seem to call it an invisible tripod. And I can completely see why. It's basically a small tripod in your pocket attached to your phone through MagSafe. As a note, I bought this for my own money and I've not been approached by Moft in any way. After all, I'm only just over 300 subscribers currently. First off, let's take a look at the different positions this tripod has to offer. Firstly, you've got the normal portrait fold down position as I like to call it, which is the one I find I'm using the most. It's great for being able to skip music tracks and keep an eye on those notifications coming in whilst you work. Uh, and of course, for using the front camera for vlogging on the move in a vertical position. Next, we've got the same position, but you can rotate the phone to landscape or 16 by nine sort of aspect ratio, which is great for quickly watching videos like YouTube on the move and also for filming horizontally. I think what I really love about this too is the fact that the hinge can be put in whatever position you want with ease. And it actually holds position too and gives you a sense of confidence immediately in the product when you use it. It's got a real quality feeling about the hinge. It almost feels like Apple themselves has made it, quality-wise, if you know what I mean. So it feels pretty decent. How long it will last, time will tell. Oh, by the way, it can turn your any phone into a MagSafe phone with a ring that comes with it that you can stick on the back of the phone or the case. I hear you ask, how strong is the magnet? Good question. One, I've been using it daily for about three weeks and it's never made me think it's gonna fall off, even when I'm taking it in and out of my pocket, even holding it completely by the stand. At no time does it feel like it's loose. In fact, it requires some force to get it off. I have to really think about pushing it off to get it to shift. I sort of have to use my thumb and give it a good push. And that's with an ESR, not a moft, third-party MagSafe case. If I hang the phone by the tripod stand, it's not budging. Let's try shaking it and see what happens. As you can see, absolutely nothing. I think though, if someone walked by and brushed it while you were filming, it probably would fall off, but that would have to be with some force and to be honest, would be expected. In short, if you're careful, you won't have any need to worry about it falling off at all. And even having it in my pocket for you know the last month or so, not once has it fallen off. Not once have I thought I've lost it. It just stays there and it feels really sturdy. Oh, on the topic of the case, I have a stand built into my case from ESR. And one of my concerns was whether the moft would actually fit with my current case. And I'm pleased to say it does. It does lift the edge of the tripod rim a little bit, but it's not an issue and it still sticks perfectly to my phone. But your case might not even have that anyway, so it's probably not even a problem. In a handheld position, it's great for getting some smooth B-roll shots and for vlogging in general, especially coupled with the stabilization offered by the iPhone. Love the fact, by the way, that the hinge enables you to fold it both ways. And again, it feels really sturdy. The next position is the full tripod mode, which of course can be used in both portrait and landscape positions. This position I use the least, I think, Firstly, because it's a bit more fiddly to get into. You have to sort of get your finger in there and open it up. And also it doesn't feel quite as sturdy when the phone is standing up. But I'm sure if you set it up okay and you leave the phone alone and don't knock it, then it won't fall over. But I would have thought a little knock to the tripod and it would come crashing down and potentially smash your phone if you're not careful. So we don't want that. So for all those reasons, I find that I don't use that position as much. But that being said, for the right environment, it could be really great, especially as it makes the phone stand about 20 centimeters or eight inches high off the ground. It has a magnetic leg support thing, which helps a lot. For some reason though, it makes me slightly nervous that the phone will fall over because the stand when open feels less stable. If you get the weight distribution of the phone wrong, it would definitely fall. Or if you get if the phone gets knocked slightly, it's pretty much definitely coming down. You almost need something soft for added support to hang underneath it when it's in this position, similar to a light stand that could be easily pushed over fairly easily without a sandbag in the legs supporting it. In terms of build quality, it feels really quite well made. I think it's made of vegan leather and the hinge itself feels very sturdy. I feel like it's gonna last a while, even while holding the phone in different positions. To be honest, even if the hinge worked just for one year, I think this is still worth its money. 
Two years or beyond and it would be amazing. Only time will tell, of course. I've been using it for a couple of months and it seems fine still. As it stands though, I would buy another one of these tripods tomorrow at the drop of a hat because I think it's really good. Let's face it, you've basically got a mini pro camera rig in your pocket. Oh, by the way, the great thing is it balances out the phone so it doesn't rock with the camera bump anymore when it's on the table. So what was the shipping like? Well, I bought it directly from the website, which is moth.us, uh, and that's the official website. Even though it says .us, the company seems to be entirely from China. I ordered it directly from the company and it shipped from China, uh, not from the US at all. I have to say though, the international tracking was amazing. The order email, confirmation email I got said about using the 17 track app. So I got it and then I followed it all the way from deepest China all the way to my front door, which I thought was really cool. It said it would come within about eight to 16 days. And I think on day eight, I actually had it in my hands. So that was great. I see from a lot of comments that people seem to be quite desperate for a credit card holder to be on the back. I'm sure Moft will do this in probably version two or three, but unfortunately for now, there's no credit card sleeves on the back of this tripod. But hey, you can't have everything. I mean, do you want it to wash your dishes as well? You probably don't. But that being said, I did test a MagSafe wallet on the back of it, and I can confirm that the back has some very strong magnets on and that the wallet did stay put uh, throughout the course of uh, my testing um, and didn't slide off. Although it didn't feel quite as sturdy uh, as if it was would be on the back of the uh, phone itself, but it definitely felt very sturdy. Personally though, I'm not a great fan of MagSafe wallets and in general, I don't like the thought of a MagSafe wallet to be honest. I literally bought this MagSafe wallet for this video to help answer your questions as to whether a wallet would actually work on the back of the Moft because I know a lot of people would be wondering. I'm pleased to say I can confirm it definitely does work. Although just be careful. After all, all your credit cards are in there. I've also tested it with a MagSafe power brick and I can confirm it definitely does not charge through the Moft tripod. To be honest, I'm not quite sure why you would want it to charge through the Moft tripod, but just in case you had that question, it definitely won't charge through the Moft. So what are the cons? Definitely the weight. It weighs 8.8 .8 grams on its own, which is about the same weight as a AA alkaline battery you know, a normal battery you stick in your kids' toys. Without a phone case, uh, and I've got an iPhone 15 Pro, not a Max, it weighs 28.9 grams, um, which is about the same as a deck of playing cards, if you're wondering. But with a case, with a MagSafe case, and with the, um, with the Moft on the back, altogether it weighs 32.2 uh, grams, which is the same weight as a medium-sized Apple, a pack of chewing gum, or a USB flash drive. But at the same time, to be honest, I think the weight almost makes my iPhone 15 feel more premium somehow in a weird sort of way. It sort of gives it a bit of an oomph and makes me feel like this is a quality product. The next con, to be honest, is the fact that apparently their customer service is dreadful, Moths says. I haven't actually needed to use it, but I've seen some Facebook comments about their lack of response to emails. And also this dude in this video here, which I'll leave a link to in the description, would have put me off ordering it. But as it happens, I had ordered it anyway uh, and happened to find his video after I placed the order. So I didn't cancel it. I thought I'd risk it. But he definitely would have put me off, I think, if I'd seen his video prior to ordering. That being said, to be honest, I didn't have any issues getting the product. Um, but I know he said that if you open the box, basically you won't be able to return it. And to be honest, the product that I've got isn't even the same one as he was talking about anyway, so I hope it will be fine. And to be honest, I haven't had any issues and overall it feels like a quality product. Another con is that it definitely feels fiddly when you put it in full tripod mode. And of course, when you do it, it doesn't feel quite as sturdy. However, it's a phone tripod. So you want to be careful with it. And to be honest, I'm not sure how they could actually make it more sturdy anyway. So you just have to be careful. In conclusion, whilst there are some question marks over their customer service and their return policy, and whilst it's maybe not super sturdy and can be knocked over in full tripod mode, I would highly recommend this product, especially if you love filming with your phone or if you're a vlogger or you do loads of TikTok stuff. Um, quality wise, it feels solid and it doesn't feel cheap or plasticky. It feels very well made. 
To be honest, it really improved the overall experience of my iPhone. I was in a restaurant the other day and this dude was propping his phone up against the wall just so he could FaceTime his girlfriend. This is not only a stand, it's a tripod and a stand and an incredibly strong and versatile product. I would buy another one of these, to be honest, at the drop of a hat. To be honest, I don't like picking up my phone morning, without John. it attached to the back. That's how much I love this product. Of course, time will tell. Anyway, if this video has been helpful or if you've had any experience with this Moft tripod, please do let me know in the comments and remember to hit like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Till next time, keep making videos, keep being amazing. Bye for now. Yeah, yeah.